Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Uh, CC here, Chris, from New York, uh, Westchester County. 6722. A couple things I just want to cover real quick, and uh, i got to be quick about this. Oh, an espresso machine. Faulty sensor on here. This is why the scaling thing didn't work real quick, so we called up. Still under warranty. There we go. Replaced. Free of charge. Thank you, Nespresso. Appreciate that very much. Maybe you try to not outsell yourself to China <laughs> and make things here in the U.S. That'd be nice. Maybe they'd last longer, like my air conditioning unit, which is now in a store right now and being repaired. God knows what the price of that's going to be. Sorry. Okay. We've got some problems here. Um, we have a president who is absolutely delusional. He's gone. Done. Um, I don't know who his handlers are, who's running the country, actually. I mean, I have some beliefs, but why get into it? Who cares? <laughs> You'll never find out. The media will never tell you. Because they're nothing but a bunch of fucking liars, too. Claims that he has made this country to a point right now that is now economically viable. <laughs> no, actually, that's from uh, falling down, not economically viable. Um, whatever term he used, I don't know. It's some stupid bullshit that his handlers have made up that, that we are... <clears throat> We, we, we are just bouncing back from this epidemic and everything like that. But you see, the problem is they caused the epidemic. They caused businesses closing. They caused this nightmare. Okay? And then they reopened it. And then all of a sudden the job market looks like incredible. It looks beautiful. Everybody's going back to work. Traffic's back on the highway. People are starting to make their money again. And it's all due to Biden. But who created it? Who created your gas prices? The day he got into office, pipeline done. And several other things that he's done. It's, just, it's the same fucking thing. It's the same story. These politicians don't give a shit about you. They're just letting these prices and inflation just go through the roof. And they're not doing anything for you. But the whole thing with the politicians were to help you, to protect you. Are they protecting you? No, they're not. They're creating something that they want to be created by putting the middle class out of business where the rich people it doesn't affect them. Gas prices don't affect them. Wages don't affect them at all. Okay. Anyway, so case in point, <laughs> the politicians don't give a shit about you, and they never have, and they never will. Okay. You might have thought they might have back in the 80s, 70s, whatever it may be. But it's always been bullshit. It's always been about control. I'm reading things up about this uh, thing on CNN about the uh, trying to roll out the monkey thing. <laughs> People aren't going to buy it anymore, I'm sorry. That's under the rug. That's gone. So now they have to go with the energy card. Okay. And shootings and making sure somebody who's not 18 can have a, a particular item that's shooting off rounds like a, a something from the arm. You see, it's just all distraction. All of it's distraction. It always has been. Antarctica. Let's talk about that for a little bit, shall we? South Pole. Down there. That they say is an island. But the last person who actually tried to circum navigate that particular item, I mean uh, island, was uh, Cook, Captain Cook. 
I think he traversed it 60,000 miles. Now that's a big fucking island, isn't it? You know, one thing I love is the 24 hour footage that they like to give us. The bullshit, the nonsense of this uh, sun. This editing that they like to do. See, this will just put the end to Flat Earth. Give us a 24 hour sun video footage that hasn't been edited. I've spoken about this before. Why I have to bring it up again? Because people are still asleep. And the people that are out there that are uploading videos from other channels and you know, chopping them up and doing whatever they're doing, they're fighting for something that doesn't exist. <laughs> Which means they're getting paid for it. Okay, they're with the people that have created all of this for the last hundreds of years. And that's all that they are. And if they truly believe this, then they should go into researching certain particular things. Why isn't there a 24-hour sun? Why isn't that written on every freaking TV, but yet Flat Earth is? I mean, we had some of these uh, talk show hosts come to a, a, an event that we were doing. Okay, we, we were on newspapers. We were in magazines before COVID. We were in all of this stuff. But yet they can't produce one single thing that'll put Flat Earth to bed is a 24-hour sun in the South Pole. It's all editing. All of it. Just look for yourself. I'm not going to feed it to you. you got to do your research. Okay? I'm not going to give it to you. There's no point. Just do your research. Go in a NASA line. You'll see it. It's there. Edit. Give you three hours, edit, three hours, edit. But my question is, where does it actually go? You know, I mean, we know how the sun works. We know how that we live on a level land, you know, that, that we're flat and uh, the sun is traversing like that and it goes away at a certain point. But what, what exactly are they hiding? And any flight that you take out there don't have any windows on the airplane either. So they're actually hiding probably more land my guess would be traveling out there because there's no flights that can go over this particular continent, which is not a continent. It's surrounding us, obviously. Um, you know, people are saying captains after... Yeah, really? Captains? Well, the last one that did. Ah, uh, forget it. You know, I mean, these people are just so asleep. These people that are uploading all this shit from us and, and, and trying to make us look like idiots. You know, they're all paid for this, okay? I mean, it's it's bottom line. It's, you know, and there's only a few of them, you know, which even makes me more suspicious. You know, there should be hundreds of these things, of these people doing this, you know, but they're not. There's just like a solid four thing, just like there's only four scientists that, that actually represent everything out there. But you see what I'm getting at? It's all lie. And it's all bullshit. The only thing that's real is flat earth. And until people actually do their research and check these things out by looking at videotape footage, by looking at the curvature, which is a nun, okay, they won't realize what they actually live on. So, we'll be talking, well, I got some surprises for you too with the camera. Uh, Alright, anyway, I'll get into that in another video. I thank you for something, I thank you for viewing my videos. Let me be a party of life.